Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I did switch to a controller. Uh, mouse and keyboard is good for shooter games for me, uh, like even including like you know third person shooters. Uh, I'm much more familiar though with Inquisition using a controller and unlike in Inquisition which even at the time this was weird you couldn't plug in a control you couldn't switch uh, like controller like templates you know you had to start be had to be on a mouse and keyboard and if you wanted to switch to like a controller or vice versa you had to start the, like turn the game off and like start over like go back to like like exit out of the game entirely and switch over I should not maybe use my hands so much I might distract the, the camera um, I am I am itch I itch <laughs> but Oh my goodness. Anyway, I've kind of been practicing, so I, I hope I hope we're good. I'm so sorry, people who are not well. Oh, it was the jump button. Okay. Not well is definitely a, an interesting way to say uh, not alive. <laughs> but I'm actually like, it's almost like Trespasser, where like in Trespasser, I was constantly like tr like running to the next Alluvian to the next Alluvian, because I'd seen in the trailers, right, that Solus was behind one of the Alluvians. So every Alluvian, I thought he was going to be the next one, the next one, he was going to be there. And now I'm like, oh, like Solus is here somewhere. And I have to like wait. Also, it's way easier for like, this is a much more reasonable um, looking around speed, in my opinion. I guess let me, I'm gonna do settings really quick. Okay, yes, we are good. I also just I feel better with the controller. How do we, oh yes. My sister mentioned, my, one of my youngest sisters mentioned that we get to like tippy tap our way across uh, various narrow areas. Oh, and there, zip, she mentioned a zip line. Why are there zip lines in this city? Well, I, well, nah. Very exciting. So, the adventures. Also, where's Hawk? I know we don't need to have world state stuff that concerns Hawk at all, but where would Varric be, you know, if not, there. like, Hawk? That's the building I tracked Solus to. Where Looks like Hawk? the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. Oh, okay. This is glowing. Am I supposed to break it? I just wasn't sure why that was glowing. Um, but you can't tell me that Varric would, like, willingly at this point be, like, separated from Hawk. You know what I mean? There is a heft to the combat. Like, it feels, it feels good. Except, like, she does, like, a... Sort of a step back and then hits. And I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't like that. That's a little weird. Honestly, I don't know. I played a lot of softball growing up, and you're not like one of the biggest things that they teach you not to do is to hike up the bat. Like, you got to get the bite, the bat up as high as you can go, so that when the ball comes in, you're not going like you're not like doing like an intake and breath and like swinging. You just have to like all power forward, no wasting power going back. You know, um, so that's what this feels like. But you know, I'm not a swordswoman, so I did accidentally do this earlier. We. <laughs> Dang you what I have to aim it Ah I can't figure it out I didn't think I'd have to aim it Barriers protect with right trigger Oh right trigger I see I see I see Okay that's like a special ability Nope I keep wanting to use the right trigger to attack These guys look sick Oh, I had to learn the... Yes. Sorry, I was trying to make sure. I forgot. I forgot. on the entrance. I can get it. Was that the left trigger? That was the left trigger? That did that? I've got a wooden mallet. Okay. See, I, I like to do... Um, I like to do two-handed weapons in Dragon, at least in Inquisition. I really, really enjoyed it, uh, and I enjoyed it in Dragon Age 2 as well. Um, but if I go with my inspiration of Alana for her, then the sword and shield is kind of also the the vibe. So this is the Dreadwolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Yeah. Not sure how long he's been here. He's Some apparently got a lot of houses. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. I love how he's really hyping up 
Solus. He's really he's really good at that. I do. It's it's interesting that they choose Varric. I think it's partly because out of everybody in Inquisition, Varric and Solus and Cassandra spend the most time together, and Cassandra's like fate is up in the air whether or not she's a divine or not. Um, and so they were just trying to like not use people who's they're like oh they could be doing something else like poor Varric. like let him rest let him rest let him hang out with hawk on a beach you know what i'm saying like ooh, 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 we're getting oh my gosh rock art oh my goodness the wolf that's for is that like the veil i mean it was like it looks like a premonition of what's happening right now kind of but it looks like he's being commanded by somebody that's very Tevintery. To be fair, though, Tevint, like the design with the snakes and like the helmet. Um, but to be fair, Tevinter took a lot of their stuff from ancient elves, right? Like it's always even brings it up once if you talk, if you bring out him in Dorian. But like Tevinter built there. I think there's theories that Minrathis is built upon the remnants of Arathan, like the main like city itself. Um, and that would make sense then why Solos came here, because if this is if this is the actual heart of Arathan, like, you know, like the heart of the city, the heart of the land, what like the heart of the like empire or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, it makes a lot of sense that he'd be doing this ritual here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me at all that Tevinter had, so my brain like gets in the way, when it like pokes me in the back. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all that Tevinter took even some of their like visual designs from the elves, right? Uh, they've taken a lot from the elves and not, a, not in a kind way. And Solus, he's, he's never friendly to Dorian because of that, um, despite Dorian trying to make overtures to him. Like, a lot. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. <laughs> One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. She looks like she's like, I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, I love how we're trying to like build it. And just in case anybody is playing this game and who hasn't played Inquisition, they're like, oh, I'm trying to jump. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we can climb ledges and stuff now that are just like in the world. That's cool. Um, but yeah, they're like, oh yeah, Solus, you know how he has these personality traits, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you know? And one of the few things you guys agreed on, you guys didn't, you guys were pretty good palsies. And they do have some great dialogue. No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Oh my gosh, are we gonna go in there? We're gonna go in the between? Or the what is it like the I can't remember what it's called. And also I always thought for a long time that elven architecture was really similar to human architecture, and I think it's kind of uh, a little bit of like not wanting to make too many assets, you know. Um, but again, it's probably because ancient elven architecture inspired human architecture, you know. Ooh, baby! Oh my gosh, more rock art! I drive. Oh, oh wait! One, two, three, four, five, six. How many? I think this is Mythal. This is something, because the elven gods, the ancient elven gods, right, they did something to Mythal. And that was, they like killed her or destroyed her or, or something. They like, it looks like they bound her. She obviously still existed in some form because she like, you know, merged with Flemeth and everything or whatever. Um, but Solus said that that was the last straw, right? That he could not, like once they, once they killed her, essentially, he, he it was unforgivable what they did. So I think this is them doing to whatever to myth all that they did that made Solus upsetty spaghetti. Ancient elves doing something to a Oops. dragon, I think. They're talking. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Solus said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. Or maybe <laughs> they're just actually binding a dragon. <laughs> it doesn't have to be symbolism, I guess. But I don't know. Oh my gosh, this statue. Oh, one day I will have uh, a replica of it. I have a replica of the orb. Are you are you going to hit me through the wall? I don't think so. I was trying to run in. 
I do have I do have access to that. The basic re defend is replaced with time defend. Well, seeing as how I'm gonna probably stick with sword and shield. Yeah, find solace is all well and good. Nope. No. Jump. I feel like the last most controller game, most recent controller game I've played was in a, a Nintendo game, and so I'm going to have problems. I'm gonna have problems. Yeah, you say go that way, but like, what of you? Mm -hmm. More door? Oh. Looks like I was gonna have to come up here anyway. It sounds like that opened something below. Wee! Let's have a look. Oh, look at him! Good dog, good dog. Oh my gosh. The elven trees that I really love. I always love the stylized elven trees. And I always wanted them to have... I'm looking at the mic. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I always wanted them to have uh, like elven decor for the room for the Inquisitor. And you never got that. Which was always sad. I tried to find mods for it. Never happened. Nobody ever saw my vision. I was like, what? Ancient elven artifacts. Is this where he's been living? Yeah, this this whatever Tevinter monument has built been built right on top of elven ruins. I'm freaking out. Ooh, the water. Let's see. Let's see how the water is. It's pretty good. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. He does. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He does have he access. He must have gone through it. To that like road system. He sort of yoinks it. I'm so excited. Where are we going? Well, she we're holding... not in the anymore. Oh please, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> This is Arlathan. Oh my gosh! And there's your ritual. The power involved. We've never seen anything like it. Oh, he's doing it here! Oh, and those are the gods. Like representations of them. The tremors are getting worse. So he was just doing the ritual Don't here. Demons. And the effects are being felt elsewhere. Oh, wait, like a fire. I thought these were despair demons, but apparently they're like spirit and... How do you... Hmm... Shade... Baltic Shade... Okay, so this is a normal spirit... Shade... I was hoping for like... I was hoping... For a codex entry... Heck yeah! Letters from your companions. That's a creepy way to put it. Glossary of Dragon Age. <laughs> I don't have. Do I not have anything yet? Oh wait, I have the Shadow Dragons. World of Thetis. I was hoping for. Like descriptions of my enemies, you know. Yeah, I just, again, our ma Grandmaster plan being that, like, Varric is trying to talk Solus down as he's actively doing the ritual. He's like, you know what, Solus is like, you know what, you're right. I don't want to do this. You're so, you're right, Varric. I, I'm just going to stop right now after all this planning and work I've done and I've already started it. Not unless you're me, a.k.a. the Inquisitor. And not even that would work, because it didn't work at the end of Trespasser. <laughs> Oh, you can parry! Nice! Ooh. Oh, I gotta aim. Okay, I see. Did I just hit Harding? 
<coughs> I will feel very bad. And if I, I thought did. the demons were bad back in Marathas. The fades are mess this close to the ritual. No telling what oh, could come okay, through. Okay, okay. Tremors are getting worse. Keep moving and try not to think about it. This is gorgeous. And those are obviously representations of the gods. Maybe this is where they like tried to seal either what I'm thinking is mythal or maybe just an actual dragon. And he's like replicating it. Like he sealed them there back in the day because it was a place where like that had happened and it was easier. No. Oh, um, no. I wanted to do the other one. I can't, I cannot, I cannot do the aiming. Nope. I keep, I keep trying to use the trigger as the shield and that's giving me problems. Also, Arlathan Forest, like this is a legendary place essentially, right? I've wanted to come here for eons. The death animations are cool. This is canonically, even though we don't have a canon anymore, uh, where the warden goes try to find a cure for the blight. Where is he? I'm we good. Get tremors every time one of those big crystals at the ritual site lights up. Not many of them left to light. Might want to hurry. Yee, where is he? I know where he is, but I need to. I need to see him. Oh hi. I'm gonna accidentally like yeet myself at somebody one of these days when I get enough rage points and I'm trying to shield. Always goodies. Not always. Sometimes there aren't. But I was hoping they would give us a little bit of leeway. <sighs> this is just almost bad. I I'm gonna go into photo mode for a second. It's gorgeous. And what's going on? Like it, it's similar, right? Like like the floating materials, similar to like what's in the fade. And, like, what happens when, like, Corypheus, like, takes you into the sky, you know? Obviously, like, the, we had the orbs in the, the orb in the previous game. Um, but now it looks like the daggers are potentially going to, like, correspond with each of the gods in some way. Like, some sort of magical dagger thing. It's like, I hear the, the demons. It's your boys. Nice. I nope. Nothing to pick up from them so far. <laughs> he's actually doing it though. Like this is crazy. You know what I mean? Like he's like, we've been waiting for ten. I keep pressing A to run. We've been waiting years for this, and he's finally doing it. We're like, we've been waiting for something, you know what I mean? Like, for anything to happen. Bam! Yeah, I know, I get it, I get it. Okay. Why is a heavy attack and it has me uh, using my shield? Salas! What are you doing? Also, I thought in the game. In the gameplay trailer, I think we confronted him in Minrathis, so I was expecting that, but apparently no. I now that my whole theory, I was like, ah, I think Minrathis is on the set, like the side of Arlathan, which it still probably could be. Uh, but no, apparently we're doing this. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, where is he? Of course, we have to fight a pride demon. I really am liking the the redesign. Oh, it's this. Ooh. Ooh, don't do that. Ooh, okay. Dang it, I can't remember. 
Oops. I do not remember. I luckily I ran into it, but I do not remember what the healing button is. Woo! Am I gonna I'm this is kind of dark soulsing a little? Um but I am curious. How does he through the veil? It's a pride demon. But, I mean, they are drawn in. Come here. Wait to fight a pride demon last time in Inquisition. Also, everyone all right. At Solus's behest. Let's get to Solus. Yes, let's. Let's get to Solus. <laughs> Where is he? Ah! I know he's doing terrible things, but I'm like, oh my gosh, why is he? <laughs> if anything happens to Varric, by the way, I'm gonna be so... It's so lazy, I'm gonna be so angry. Solus wouldn't kill Varric. Take it from here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. What? That's yeah. that? Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Well, I guess. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. I tr I tried. I I tried to do that, and it did not. If his lover couldn't do it, then. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm making sure everything's working. I I mean I'm not gonna like talk him down now, like there's no point, you know. We've got you back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. But what is that gonna do against him? <laughs> More demons. So is his friend. They are friends. Take care of the team for me. No, no. Absolutely. If anything happens to Varric, I'm gonna be so angry. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh my gosh. There he is. He had to know somebody would find him. Let's buy him some time. No, you're gonna you're gonna cut away now. You're gonna cut away now. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this to me. Oh my gosh. I am so concerned. Varric, I feel like Varric just signed his death warrant by being like. Take care of the team for me. Like that's what they say. They're not gonna die. You can't kill me. I mean, let him rest, but I didn't mean let him rest, you know what I'm saying? I'm distracted, I'm just pressing X on everything. Oh my gosh. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. You I'm did this! The world in demons. You're, all your plans- I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. You Minimize them. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Duh. Please. Uh. <gasps> also, that was really hot. The people are always the, dying. The eyes. <laughs> it is what they do. I. The, I that was. I mean, yes, people die, but like. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. Yeah. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. Yeah, I just... And what about the demons? <laughs> Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Look very Fine, heroic. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. 
Um. Greater da it's greater danger not fighting demons but going into the magic. Um. Shoot. I mean, I feel like neither a mage nor a rogue are especially adept at taking care of themselves. I don't know, like, but alone. Like, they usually work with other people. My ears are actually starting to hurt. I might have to take the elf ears off, which makes me super, super, super sad. Okay, maybe with the with the danglies off, maybe, maybe it'll it'll work. Uh, I'd rather take Neve. Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. And Neve, or not Neve, Harding and Varric have had a history of working together. You know, she can watch his back. This is just. <laughs> Arguing inaudibly. I just. This is pretty wild. Are these just. Just people who died? Were there people here, Solus, when you started doing this? I don't know. People die all the time. But to be fair, he comes from a, like a world where that's not a thing. You know, like for like a time where like people didn't really die. He just went into dreams, you know? Also, I 100% the memes that came out of this, where it's like, Solus's grand plan... Solus's grand plan got once again interrupted by a level 1 scrub and their friends just being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? Where, like, in Inquisition, the Inquisitor, like, accidentally grabs the magical orb of, like, all power. And it's like, this is, like, really? It's gonna take... You left some scaffolding up? And why is there scaffolding here, for one thing? Unless he's been, like, reconstructing this area? You know? It's like, why is there scaffolding here? Or why is this so precarious when you've been spending ten years either rebuilding this or, like, finding... I don't know. You know what I mean? It just feels a little silly. It feels a little silly. It feels a little silly. Like, his plans never work. So this should know by now that his plans always go wrong. And you can't tell me that that was keeping why, that up. Why tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost? We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? I mean... The pillar's weak, but it isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. And like... Together. Again, no. Solus, what exactly is Solus trying to achieve? Like, we're not really way, sure. I made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! So, that one beam was holding up that entire obelisk. Honestly, are we gonna fall into the magical goop? Oh, Neve is is lagging. Oh, he angry. So very rather. Anyway, there's Galen on and Elgarnan. Oh, 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 no. Oh my gosh, very. I don't think we can heal him from that, but like. Let's go. This way. This way. He. You can't. I mean, now it's personal for the Inquisitor. Even more so, right? Like. Oh my gosh, the gods are coming! Oh my gosh! <sighs> mm. 
Oh, the blood looks really good. Like, really real. I... Please. I mean, people were speculating that Varric died because he's not showing up in any of the other promotional material, but please just put him... Don't kill him off. Maybe this is why uh, his writer left. Like, his writer had you been like... You have no idea what you have done. <gasps> what? This is... Varric, that was soulless. That was too far on Varric. You know what I mean? Like... Woo! Sorry, I still can't help it. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. I mean, you were. Maybe if you explained what you were actually doing. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the fate. I mean, you love it there. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed oh. a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic. Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. No, you don't. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just... For one thing, no. In Inquisition, he specifically states that he d that blood magic is merely another sort of magic, right? That um, it's just it, you can use it. It's, it can hurt just as much as fire magic can, but nobody gets mad at fire mages. I mean, you know, except for obviously like. They get mad at magic in general in Southern Thetis. But, like, yeah, it's just, uh, to be fair, it does have the capacity for mind control, whereas, like, fire magic doesn't. But you can even heal with blood magic, too. And he brings that up. Um, and so he's never hated it. He's always just, you actually get approval with him if you agree with him by saying that it's just, like, an, like yeah, it's just another form of magic, and you can use it wisely or unwisely, you know what I mean? And you can hurt people with it or by using their blood or not, and use your own blood, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, anything, I abhor the use of blood magic. Second, if I had the power to control you, I would have already done it. But that's the thing, right? It's like, he will he will put aside almost anything, any any of his values, like, sort of, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to say it very well, but he'll put anything aside in order to achieve his goals, right? And so it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, if he could control me, he would be controlling me so that he could get it out and do what he needs to do, you know? But, like, this is what I'd like to wake up. Um... Okay, talk. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. Creatures? In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but I to be worshipped. I love this worshipped. cutting thing. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. Uh-huh. Corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Okay, Thanks that's what them. they did. I am now trapped. Oh, no. And the Blighted Elven Gods walk free. I mean, I just... What did he expect us to do? You know what I mean? I mean, we knew that also interrupting the ritual was potentially a really bad idea, you know? But, like, what? Like we had... Like him, we have few options. You know what I mean? He sees it himself as having a few options. Again, I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to bring back because, like, the elven, the el ancient elves are dead, I think, unless they're, like, spirits inhabit the Fade, in which case he could bring back all the spirits, but, like, you know, it's like, ah, buddy, this is, uh, there's gotta be better ways to do this, you know, and, but, like, it is a sort of vague goal, but also, that's key, that was one of the spoilers that I heard was that um, in the promotional material, it was actually the, the spoiler that made me quit watching the promotional material, was that, um, mm, I won't spoil too much, but that the Elven Gods utilized Blight, which is like the first we've ever heard of that. We didn't really know where Blight came from. We knew that, um, like, the Red Lyrium is blighted um, Titan's blood, right, technically, um, and that it only attacks organic things, but, like, or that it only, like, affects organic things, but, uh, yeah, apparently, though, they utilized it on their people. We just knew that the elven gods, like, had been rebelled against. We didn't know exactly why. And he's like, and the blighted elven gods, does he mean just, like, blighted as in, like, you know, oh, those darn elven gods? Or are they actually blighted? Are they blighted elven gods? The Evanuris. Hmm. How 
am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. <laughs> oh I my. had a plan. Yes. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric. Yeah. Yeah, said that's Varric. Your style. Never quite lies. Clever half-truths will let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. Yes. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. He Varric better just... Quite practiced at shading the truth himself. That's a good point! So those things that got out. You said they were gods? Don't don't speak they their names. Said they were gods. Mm. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Hey, Zarus, please! <laughs> He's so attractive. Oh, I can't help it. Look. Look, how could you how could you say no to this face? You know what I mean? There's plenty of people out there <laughs> who can say no to that face. <laughs> uh, I'm certain you will be fine. Dang though, and the fact that he was able to imprison them does speak a lot to his capabilities, right? And now he's stuck here. He's like flipped into where the he imprisoned them. But this is where he imprisoned them, I kind of think, or like an in-betweeny sort of place. Maybe. But apparently blood magic lets you get through into the fade? Hmm. I guess that is how they opened the veil. Well, the original magisters, I think that is how they did that. Okay, I was gonna maybe like try to be like, eh, but I think that checks out. Lower rise, but yeah, we're gonna be. That's really helpful. <laughs> what are you? The elven god of sarcasm? Lies, <laughs> treachery, and rebellion. Depending upon the story. That, yes. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. Yeah, you embedded it in Varric! My network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of... And I <laughs> here. Lies, treachery, and rebellion. Nice. Story. <laughs> Elganan and Gilanane are your Exchanged problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Then we're doomed, buddy! Like, you know what I mean? Like, my love. Why tear down you the need to listen. No! No! Varric! I have no idea what you have done. Varric! This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. How are you still alive, Varric? Varric? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you and fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. You were stabbed! It'd take more than a flesh wound to in, stop me. In the chest! Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I... Okay. Oh, maybe his writer, whose name I, is Mary, some, I think? Um, maybe she just left because she was. it was time for her to rest also. Varric gets to rest, and she gets to rest. But, oh my gosh, I was like, I'd leave if my favorite character that I created and wrote stories for, like, was killed off. This, though, this does explain why he's not in a lot of the promotional materials, that he's injured and laid up, and he's going to be our Inquisition liaison type entity person. I should not, I need to put my hands down here. Mm-hmm. -hmm. <laughs> Just... Oh, more. Okay, so it's not to the left. I'm sorry, Varric. Look at the anime eye. Um, what are we looking at here? Oh, well. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't oh, listening. He feels you like he you never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Dragon three before people. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. We? Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. You got stabbed! And I got thrown against a wall with a concussion and then dragged into the fade to have a mind blood magic conversation with Zoos, which is trying in the best of times. Uh, let's see. I think she apparently appears to be close to Varric. And Varric is very good at, like, a, Varric has many children that he's adopted throughout the years. He gets very attached to people, which is why he said he makes a bad spy master, because he's always worrying about their families and stuff. Um, 
But Varric apparently feels like, he, I like that I'm seeing these two, it's not just like your characters reacting to what you say, but characters reacting to what they do, you know what I mean? Like, And it's kind of the action that you did, and he feels bad that he let you down, and he's like, you know, I, maybe I should have known, right? It's like, I tried talking to him, but he never listens, you know? And so it does, but it was interesting to see the juxtaposition. Interesting to see the juxtaposition between the two of them, right? I, maybe it's actually more apropos. I'm gonna use that word a gazillion times until I realize I'm saying it wrong. But like more apropos than we thought that like two sort of liars tried to talk to each other, right? Like they're very similar men um, in in some ways, right? There's like a knife edge difference, right, between a storyteller and a trickster, you know. And that's why I think that's why Solus's icon is like is the card for the storyteller when you like you ask like, what play style you want to be, right? Like you know, medium, hard, easy, whatever. And a kind way to call a liar is a storyteller in some instances, right? You could look at it that way. But yeah, Solus is the god of, like, he's, uh, he's been turned into the god in, according to lore and, like, you know, everything by, he's been turned into the god of lies and deceit and trickery. But every pantheon has a trickster entity. I'm not gonna, okay, I can't go into that too far, but it's, it's a fascinating thing. The trickster entity, entity is supposed to bring balance to two different sides, right? And apparently there was, like, it's very Nordic, right, where we have, um, you have, like, the giants, right, the Elf Elfenheim? Wolfenheim, something, and then you have the gods, the gods, right? Um, and Loki was supposed, like, it, depending on how you read it, is like half of one, half the other, or one of all, but is like accepted in both camps, and he tricks them both equally, and kind of like evens the playing field between the two of them, you know? And there was the Forgotten Ones, right? Uh, or the Forbidden Ones? Oh my gosh, I cannot remember. There's two distinct groups. There's the Forgotten Ones and the Forbidden Ones. And the Evaneras, I, I, I think, potentially, I think the lore indicates that they fought a war against this group, this other group that I think we call the Forgotten Ones. Um, that's why they're called that now, is because we've purposely, like, the Evaneras purposely made sure that they were forgotten, or something like that. Or they're the Forbidden Ones. They're, again, it's two different groups. They're, there is a Forgotten Ones group and a Forbidden Ones group, and one, they don't... I don't think they overlap with each other, but like, anyways, um, I said, I'm like, I'm not going to go into it, proceeds to go into it. Um, but yes, anyway, this is so interesting. I am very, like, Varric has hit the nail on the head for a lot of Solus's personality traits, and just so succinct with him. But then Solus hit the nail on the head with Varric's personality as well a little bit. They are, they are friends, if nothing else, you know what I mean? Um, and was a little stabbing amongst friends. <laughs> But I will, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not a, I don't want to be a stoic person, so. And I don't want to be like, but I need you, blah, blah, blah. Or do I? Because he's like, I'm not gonna be out in the field, you're gonna have to be in charge. And how did I become second in command? That was best, I am sorry. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have. You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. <laughs> the world isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've got... I've seen your work. We were fighting one god, now I there's two... I remember your disagreement with senior watchers about how to handle that undead rebellion. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. That's Rook, good. Look who's awake. Oh, wow, I've been she searching is injured. place for Lurian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. I like that and we're I seeing... really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. Okay, See Dad. You later, kid. Bye, Dad! I'm so glad he's alive! By the way. <laughs> oh, 
but technically the plan worked. Yes, it did. But now we have two gods to deal with instead of one, which is why both of these have absolutely no desire to, like, mitigate the damage. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, goodness gracious, this is going to be wild. Oh, yeah, I actually did mean to uh, downgrade from the deluxe, but then I got worried that it would be, like, weird about it. So, alas. I have $10 worth of cosmetic items. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of lore. And the banter thing, apparently, because I, I have her, again, from the promotional material before I stopped watching, like, you, you kind of have a relationship with Solus, like, where, like, you can, he's chat. that's why I had him right here, right? It's because, like, I was like, you guys are apparently chatting, like, in your head or something, or maybe in dreams, I don't know. Um, but, and this is probably the lighthouse, right? Where he sends, where, he, like, he's, like, because he mentioned it, too. He just, like, brings up the lighthouse. The man had, apparently, a bunch of places all over the place. Skyhold. He's just giving mansions out to ladies like it's no big deal, you know? <laughs> but, oh, what a charmer. But, yes. Oh, I shouldn't wiggle that around. But I think I had something to say. I don't know. And this is just so exciting to see these characters and, like, feel like things are like i don't know like it's it's almost like i never left kind of i don't know so far so far i this has been really good but yeah i should probably call it here so i'm gonna cut now to saying thank you to my patrons thank you all for watching really quick i wanted to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including the free members there are a few of you out there but i also want to say thank you to my acorn tier patron fame thank you so much for your support i appreciate it i want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons reese galito and sebastian james thank you so much for your support you guys i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra extra special shout out to christopher my forest tier patron who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who i truly cannot thank enough so thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one